Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to truckertrack.com. We are going to shoot a video today on how to put a theme and tuck away uh, lift on. So you guys actually get to go in the pre-production meeting of what we do. Now you're going to hear the gun in the background. They're doing pad changes today, but I got Kyle and Aaron here and we're going to set up the video camera and let them put the lift on. You guys get to watch it. The gun hits every time I talk perfectly. Anyway, so, pre-production meeting. All right, so, Kyle and Aaron are both gonna be on, putting the lift on on the back. We gotta do the lift, the cattle gate, and there's two toolboxes down at the other building that I got. So, one on both sides. So, I know there's a lot of wiring and stuff that's gotta go into this. And uh, I know uh, the toolbox will take a minute. I do have brackets up front, but sometimes the guys do not like using the brackets. They like to make their own. Yeah, yeah exactly. They use, <laughs> like to use their own stuff. And by the end of this, this entire bed will be covered in tools. I don't know how it will happen, but it will happen. Uh, we would like to get this done today. So usually cattle gates, toolboxes, and uh, under tailgate usually takes about a day. Uh, it's a it's a hard day, but it's a, it's a day job. So, uh, you guys know what to do. I'll uh, I'll come back here from time to time, hopefully without the gun going, and uh, show you guys what we're doing. Now, what they're going to start with, there's a couple things back here on the gate. Hey Kyle, would you would you fill for me? Kyle, look at Kyle go. Look at that. Stay frosty, my friend. So there's two parts to the gate. You're gonna have to put the flat form back here. We're gonna cut out from the stake pockets around it. So that'll be the, the back of the platform. And then they're gonna come in here and they're gonna cut some of this out for the tuck away to go back in. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but as the video progresses throughout the day, you guys will see that. So uh, I guess we'll just get started and uh, you guys will start to get this thing up and putting it all together. Uh, and we'll talk about it as we go. Sounds good, all right. We'll see what happens. All right, so guys, the gun stopped for a minute and the guys are getting everything together. So this piece goes on the back of the truck, uh, right where uh, Kyle's standing. And then of course, this is the under tailgate. That's gonna go underneath the truck and kind of go at, a, at an angle down. So all this, all this stuff right here has to end up living up underneath here and the guys can do it they've uh we've done quite a few of these actually i think they're starting to get pretty good at it and then also i always order the uh the dock uh bumpers because it comes with the tail lights and everything built in and it it it, it saves me from having to figure out where to put tail lights because they're already on the back of the truck i think even kyle even likes them right kyle look at that kyle much easier them. much easier much easier so we're got to get this put on it goes here and then we got to get this mat it doesn't i don't know if it looks looks that big in the video that's a big that's a big hunk of loving right there that's a lot of material has got to get up underneath there so anyway i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna let the guys get to work on
Hey guys, I know this is, uh, we keep going and going here, but I wanted to take a minute and show you guys what's going on with the, uh, with the under tailgate hoist uh, made by Themen. So, uh, of course, this is a 1600 pounder, uh, so it'll pick up, actually they'll pick up a little bit more than 1600 pounds. So anyway, uh, we've got the main plate welded in, and then this is actually the gate. Now what the guys do is they run this bar down through here and clamp it, and that gets all your angles set correctly. And then that also gets your angle back here correct on the frame. Because if you start here and, and, and weld this, and you let's say you use all the directions that come from theming, if you get this off a little bit, then it'll make, it'll make this off. So this won't be flat. So what Kyle is doing, uh, he's using some redneck ingenuity. I'm pretty sure that's a sledgehammer. And uh, he's no, jacking no, no. up. That's not a sledgehammer. That's a prop tool. Oh, that's a prop tool, I'm sorry. Sledgehammer <laughs> slash prop tool. So by jacking this up, okay, by jacking this up, by clamping it here, so, so this is flat, this is flat, this is flat, and then jacking it up, it's gonna make the whole deck flat, okay? So that, cause that, that's the key. Really, that's the key is the deck being flat. The lifting, yes, that, that's important too, but if the deck's not flat when you weld it up, it throws everything off. And so by doing the uh, sledgehammer slash prop tool and getting it up here, then that will set this angle right here, which that's supposed to be at an angle. And then that way, uh, everything's set. And then when Aaron comes in here and welds all this, and he'll probably put a bracket in here and some other stuff, uh, he's got a long way to go. He's got a lot to do underneath here. That will set all those angles properly. Also, Kyle, and then Kyle has started doing the wiring and getting all the buttons wired in, or the button. And then uh, we've already got the rear, uh, tail lights in right here. We're not, you know, we're not, we're not gonna have tail lights underneath here. So all this stuff is done. Uh, Themen does come with really good directions, but uh, we've done enough of these. We know where we can, uh, where we can, not cut corners, but do it a little bit easier and faster. So by putting the deck, energizing the deck, pushing it all the way out, uh, and getting it these bars on here leveling it out then you're good to go uh, i have seen a few of these uh, even i've even seen a few of the rail gates that somebody didn't do it and get it level and it's not any fun because you're you're afraid something's going to roll off you don't want that to happen so anyway the guys are kicking it in they're doing a great job uh bumper brackets already on the the back plates already done and welded Look, Aaron put a little patch in there. Uh, this also will allow you to put the stakes on, which we'll show you that here at the end too. So anyway, we'll let the guys keep kicking some uh, boote and uh Hey guys, uh, welcome back from lunch. The, I think the guys are, I don't know if they're liking the cameras or not liking the cameras. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, they're back from lunch. They have hooked up the uh, lift 
to a remote power source, which is a, on our, in our case is a jumper box. And they're testing out. Can I run it up and down? No, 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 yes, no, other way. Other way. Okay, can I do it? I no. want to do it. Non anyway, non-qualified. <laughs> so the boys have got everything set up. And man, I'm gonna tell you what, that's what you want right there. That's what you want. That is, that is level, that is level. Don't look at that side. Aaron says he don't like that side. That was my side. But Eric, Kyle's side looks fantastic, but that's what you want. When they roll something across there, there's not really any, any gap and there it, it's perfectly flat and they're extremely happy. I mean, that thing, that thing looks like a diving board. Well, I don't know about a diving board. A diving board kind of bends. But anyway, it looks great. It sticks out there. It's flat, it's solid, everything's looking good. And that's a quick and easy way to figure out to get that flat is to clamp it up here, extend it out, get it in the out position and get it all set and then tackle all the welding and stuff. So anyway, guys, what'd you guys have for lunch? I had uh, pork tenderloin roast with carrots and mashed potatoes. Pork tenderloin, that was a lot. Was that from dinner last night? Uh, over the weekend, but yeah. Over, okay, what'd you have? I had a McChicken and a McDouble. McChicken and a McDouble? Yeah. No fries? No. Drink? I asked for a sweet tea and they gave me a Dr. Pepper, so I drank like this much, <laughs> keep them choking to death, and I threw it away. I can't, I can't drink. <laughs> I can't swap like that. If they don't give you the right drink, well, it if you go there and you don't get the right drink, I could, like you did, I could take a couple sips to keep from choking. Well, I haven't drank sodas it. in three years, and that would count. It, oh, burned, well. it burned a little bit. <laughs> I bet it did, <laughs> if, you have, if you're not used to drinking sodas. All right, so the guys are going to keep working on this. I'm going to set the camera back up. And uh, I'm going to ask Aaron and Kyle where they want the camera. All right, how's the camera going? You guys like the camera or don't like the camera? I really forget that it's attention. there. I mean, I don't even know it's there. So what that means is I could get a camera guy. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go over very good. Anyway, let's keep trucking. Let's keep trucking on this thing. Hopefully get this thing done here in a little bit. And uh, we'll call this video a wrap. But we want to we want to finish it all the way to the end. So the guys are going to finish it up. And hopefully Kyle's going to start maybe on some toolboxes here a little bit. We'll do a toolbox video down the road. Uh, the way we do toolboxes, I just I just spit out really bad. We do toolboxes like crazy, but every toolbox I think is different. We do, I don't think we've ever done two the same. So anyway, keep watching. And, and while we got you here for a second, keep liking, keep sharing, keep watching. Hey guys, we're at the end of the video. Finally, the guys have got the theming tuck away on the truck. Everything's wired in and done. Uh, right now they're taking a break and Kyle's sitting back here eating and drinking something. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna stay out of that. And then there's people walking around over here that I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so we've got the theming tuck away on here. Theming is made in Ohio. Uh, we're in Kentucky. Ohio's pretty close. Uh, they get stuff to us in one to two business days. They do a great job. Uh, we've done Tommy Lift. Uh, we've done Maxon. 
not a huge Maxon fan. We've had some issues with Maxon in the past. They're not a they're not a very personable company. Themen, when you call, they're there. They take good care of us. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about Themen, the company, because we don't have a lot of problems out of them. That's nice. Uh, you call them, you ask them, you say, help me with this, this, and this. They give you the price, they give you the information, you sell it, you go on down the road to sell it, and you're good to go. So, let's watch this bad boy go up and down a little bit. So you gotta hit the release lever, drop it down. There's an arm back here in the back that'll actually push the gate out. Grab the gate right here. Those are some pretty tough springs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do that on purpose. Put the button on the side. And it takes you right up to the top. So that is how you put on a theme and lift gate. And I don't know who's over there hitting it with the air gun right now, but it's really messing up my video. So hey, if you have any questions or problems, nah, you know what, we need to talk about something else. Hang on one second, let me let this thing down. Aaron's getting up, that means it's work time. Also just landed the gate right on the hose. A couple things to talk about about lift gates. One, capacity, lift capacity, and where it's gonna go. Tuck away, rail gate, what are you gonna lift? What are you going to put on it? Once you get past that point, do you want aluminum or do you want steel? Usually the steel gates are a little bit cheaper than the aluminum, but the aluminum ones are lighter so you can lift more. The next thing you got to run into, and the guys will contest to this, you've got to have enough height from the ground to the bottom of this bed to put it on. We just did an Isuzu NBR and it wasn't tall enough. And we fought to get that thing on there and fought and fought and fought and uh, it wasn't good. Let me get the guys, all right, all right? Okay, that didn't go very good. It was actually, we had, to, had a couple come to Jesus meetings on that one. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't pretty, but we did get it on, we did get it functional, but that height from the ground up is very important. And then as we talked about in the videos earlier, uh, getting this thing up here and getting this deck flat. That's just perfect. And getting that deck flat, I had, I'm too, there's a truck sitting here, so I'm not, I had to get in between them. I'm sorry, I had to put the date down. But getting that deck flat is very important. So hey, I'd like to thank Themen, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put their description, uh, or their link to their stuff in the description so you guys can see Themen. So go down there and check them out. Keep liking and sharing, keep watching the videos. Uh, keep getting it out there. We had a lot, a lot of views on the last one. We really do appreciate that. And uh, if you need help with something like this, hit us up at info at truckertrack.com, and we'll try to help you. Do we sell the stuff on the website? Not yet, maybe someday. But go on there, check out the lighting, the toolboxes, the D-rings, all the other stuff's on there, undercarriage. Anything like that is on the website. So hey, if you're not tearing it up, you're not trying hard enough.